A Kentai Weldemore, I'm going to read the first poem, which is all about seeing the sea every time we get close to the ocean or to the sea. We see it as if for the first time. I'm going to read in Welsh, then I'll read in English. A Kenta i Weldemore. Weldemore Kenta, Tynar y gosad o'n, a tharganfod yn llygad y goreid yr arlais, cyn i'n iddidol yr eiliau sy'n nhw'n neb a deiar, gwagle a gwylgi. A wna yn llawen ti a'i chwerthyn, cyrraedd y tymyr ffrowns sy'n chwedle, tafod e glas yn treithu gwerebau. A menyd, sylwn, hyball i deall, ble mae'r dyfnder, y dwy fol na diwn datgan i hun, wrth swatio'n y dyrgel. A gweld o'r newydd, nad yw mor oedd yn llai mirain, er i longau drylio ar greigiau. Cael syno bydd y cyffro, sy'n i asu yn ein genin frai o'r newydd. Gweld y mor gynta yw'r cynta dwi'n, a thar ganfod gwir ryddedod. Seeing the Sea to be first to see the sea. It's the closest we may come to open eye discovery. There she lies, a temple helping us draw the line between heaven and earth, nothing and oceans. We travel gladly to water laughter, reaching the skirt hem of her stories where her tongues tell truths. For a time, we stare, not understanding her depths, this divinity who will not reveal herself, hugging her secret, and see anew that a sea is no less beautiful because ships found her on rocks. Because look, in her split second waves, we grow younger with each prison, seeing the sea for the first time is the closest we may come to the wonder of eyes opened. The second poem is one of a series of poems about Catherine Glyndor, the last princess of Wales who was incarcerated in the Tower of London uh, and along with her children. And I wrote a series of poems about her time there and the lockdown, a very different kind of lockdown from what we've experienced. And they died, we're going back now to the 15th century, they died mysteriously after two and a half years. So this is just one day of her trying to do something in a cell with her children, very young children. Colli amser, cyfri'r amser yr oedd yma, gyda chi dynedd ymhant. Gweithio dolen o bleth yn foreol yn anwythnosol. Nod i marc ar y mir, gyda'r gwaed a wasgab, o gnoi y wyned i'r byw. Dathlu taldra hefyd, er mor llwyd i mebyd, fi dyddiau trwy garog. Ac adrodd am nad am gario llester o'r ffynnon, am edrych i'n wybren drwy'r coed, am gasglu cennyn y brain, am gyfri lliwiau'r dail, yn efydd ac ambar y sgarlad gloiw. A'r llathr o atgodd yw. Lost time. I'm counting time with strands on my children's hair, twisting one link from a braid each morning. Every week I mark the wall with blood squeezed from my nail bitten to the quick. It's how we used to mark their height. However grey their childhood, they were kindly days and I recite again and again how we'd carry a pitcher to the well how we watched the sky through the trees, how we gathered bluebells, how we counted the colour of leaves, copper, amber, radiant scarlet, the golden glow 
of memory. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.